Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I would like to say thank you to my subscribers and thank you to my supporters. Y'all, today's tea might be a little bit spoiled tea, um, but we're going to get into this tea. And it's involving Kendrell Gordon, who is known professionally as Young Boy. He is a 20 year old rapper from Louisiana. He is the father of four boys and one girl by four different young ladies. He was recently involved with a young lady by the name of K.L. Marie. And she has been in the blogs because she claimed to have given birth to his baby, and she, which was a baby girl that she named Kind. Well, y'all, her brother's girlfriend's sister revealed publicly to the world that baby Kind was actually K's brother's baby. Yeah. Um, before we get into this reading, I would like to say that this reading is for entertainment purposes only. I do prep work of cleansing my cards, prayer, and meditation beforehand. We will be using the Morgan Greer Tarot deck today. Uh, so let's get into this reading and see what's going on. Um, Spirit, show me why was K.L. Marie being dishonest about giving birth? And was she pregnant by Contrail Spirit? Show me Spirit. Why was K.L. Marie being dishonest about giving birth? And was she pregnant by Contrail's baby? One more shot. That answers our question. So guys, the very first card that we have is the Empress in Reverse. And yes, guys, Kay really was pregnant. Um, this card signifies problems with the pregnancy, miscarriages. So yeah, she was really pregnant, but unfortunately she miscarried, guys. The next card we have is the Magician in Reverse. Uh, this represents a trickster, selfish behavior, manipulation, so like I stated, she was pregnant and miscarried. With this magician card being in reverse, she tried to cover up the miscarriage by trying to get pregnant again. So she pulled a wool over everyone's eyes and it was actually a selfish behavior with little regards of others because you had your brother's baby, newborn baby picture floating around social media. Y'all, I kind of feel sad for her. I mean, she's fighting with the, all these other young ladies for Kentrell's love. Um, so she's basically trying to prove a point. The next card we have is the King of Cups, and it's in reverse. And this represents Kentrell, y'all. Like I just stated, um, she tried to cover up everything because of this sleaze ball. Y'all, young boy is... Uh, dark individual. I would not ever read on him. He got all these problems with these different young ladies. And not to mention how Kay was shot last year behind him. And Yaya, who is the boxer Floyd Mayweather's daughter, stabbed another young lady because of him. That's very dark energy he has. The next card we have is the High Priestess in Reverse. And this represents secrets being revealed. Again, y'all, she tried to 
get pregnant to cover up the miscarriage, but the secret was revealed. Young boy found out, and that's why he was on uh, Rapper Rich the Kid's Life, denying Kay being pregnant by him. The next card we have is the Nine of Wands. And this represents guarding oneself. So young boy was so busy with Yaya and them that Kay couldn't sleep with him to be able to get pregnant again. The last card we have is the Ten of Wands. Uh, young boy energy is coming up in this reading, guys. And I didn't want that to happen because he's evil. Yeah, he's evil. This card represents burden, so young boy finds Kate to be a burden. Tag along Timmy is what they call her. I actually feel sorry for the young lady, guys. And we need to send her love and light instead of bashing her. But hey, what I need y'all to do, I need y'all to start subscribing so I can be able to use the community posts on YouTube, y'all, to post my predictions. Um, in my Meg and Tori reading, I had mentioned, you know, that the possibility of him uh, being deported. And y'all know that there's a petition going around trying to get him deported back to Canada. And then the Jasmine brand put out an article saying that, you know, he is getting deported. But um, that hasn't been proven to be factual or anything at this moment. And in my Lou and Super reading... I mentioned how Lou has an addiction and he feels super owes him. And, you know, Lou wrote on IG that he does has a pill problem. And then he got to mentioning how he did this and how he did that for super, which is crazy, you know, because she elevated you, you know. And I heard y'all that his stuff was little. <laughs> <laughs> but don't y'all forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy my reading. Enjoy your day, guys.